up you guys, this is Rob from Giga Plays, and today on the Snapshot, we're wrapping our fingers around some gorgeous Corpus Disc when we take a look at the Falcor. Now, you can pick up the Falcor's blueprints in the Corpus Lab of your clan dojo, just do be aware that it does require Mastery Rank 8 to craft. However, if you cannot resist those amazing energy effects, you can always pick it up from the market pre-built along with the weapon slot and catalyst for 200 Platinum. Alrighty, when it comes down to stats, I'm actually fairly excited about this one, mainly because of the fact that it follows very closely in the Glaive Prime's footsteps. And as you guys know, I'm a big fan of that weapon. So as you can see here, the attack speed is 0.833, which is a bit slow. However, you toss a Prime Fury on there and you'll be just fine. Um, its critical chance is 12%, which follows very closely to the Glaive Prime's 15%. The critical multiplier is 1.6 times. Glaive Prime sits at 2 times, so it's still trailing behind just a little bit. Um, and its status chance is 28%, only 2% off from the Glaive Primes. Um, as you can see here, its primary form of damage is technically Slash, but the damage spread on this one, I was going to say IPS spread, but there's an E in there as well, is fairly tight, so I kind of don't want to really say that it's Slash based. Um, now, one of the things that I do have to say, and actually we'll go ahead and show it in action real quick, um, is this thing has insane tracking. Now, let me let me grab a couple enemies first. Let me let me up the numbers of the billies out there. Um, so let's grab like three of them, and let's get that simulated. But before we do, can we take a look at this energy effect? What? That shit is absolutely fucking gorgeous. I love it. Um, now, as many of you guys know, I play my uh, glaives with dual wield, so I'm going to tap real quick, just so you guys can see. The, the tracking is so good on this, I've actually had it bounce between, you saw that? It was a multiple bounce. Just bounce between enemies multiple times. It's absolutely freaking nuts, and I kind of love that about it. Um, also, if you guys are big Avara fans and like to use Navigator, me personally, I'm not, I'm not that boy. But we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll cover it. We'll go ahead and we'll cover it in a little bit. And I'll show how it works with that. But legitimately, this is absolutely fucking fantastic. Um, I was trying this out uh, versus the Orvius to see which one is better. And I kind of feel like this one is the better of the two of them. And maybe that's kind of what it has to do when they talk about the surgical, you know, the surgical precision of this weapon. Um, now, as you can see... Uh, because of the fact that the base damage of this weapon, um, or I can't say base damage, but one of the primary damage types of this weapon is Slash. If you can get a stealth Slash proc off, it just eats away at the enemy health like nobody's business. I love it. It's crazy. Um, so that's kind of like the way that I like to use it. And if you notice too, I am using it with dual wielding um, because I definitely feel like it functions the best with that. Plus, I'm currently not running um, Power Throw on this weapon, so it kind of gives you the ability to say, "All right, well, I just want I just want to do a quick tap of this um, to get it charged up for a bouncy throw." You know, that lets it kind of ricochet off of multiple targets, um, especially if they're not aligned. Like, did you see all those bumps? Or if you want to go ahead and do a power throw, you can go ahead and do that. By the way, the power throws of these um, have uh, electric procs linked into them, which is actually really, really fantastic if you are using, um, if you are using, what is the, of my brain called, uh, condition overload. So that'll actually go ahead and add another condition in there uh, so that you can kind of take advantage of all of that. So as you can see, the bounces are absolutely fantastic. The tracking is great. Um, and this thing is as close to the Glaive Prime as you're going to get when it comes to uh, performance. Now, um, one of the things that I want to point out is kind of like with the power throws on the Glaive Prime, you're guaranteed a slash proc, which is really what makes that thing a powerhouse. Um, this one is the electric proc. Uh, however... Um, I still think that you got a good chance at proccing, uh, proccing slash on this thing. Just mainly because of the way that it's set up. As you can see, we've got one over there. That tracking is just sickening. Like, the tracking on this thing is nuts, oh man. Um, so the way that you kind of want to approach this is if you have enemies kind of like all together in a line, you always want to go ahead and go for that power throw. Um, which is, well, I guess you would call it the charge throw like that charge throw um but if you've got enemies kind of spread out then you want to get the bounce so let me go ahead and show you the build on it real quick 
Um, and this is my throwing build. I did make a melee build on it, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I wasn't really all that impressed with how this felt in melee mode. I guess I'll show it to you, but I don't think you guys will be all that excited. So as you can see, we have Prime Pressure Point, Prime Fury, um, Condition Overload, because this thing does have a lot of status. As you can see right here, just its base on the melee is 78%, but if you go ahead and uh, toss on a charge throw, this thing will actually have 84%, which is very, very nice. Especially, and you have to keep in mind too, when you do a charge throw, you're not only gonna get the, the electric, you're not just guaranteed um, the electric, you're also, you also have that 84% chance to proc another element on it. So it's definitely nice when it comes to that kind of damage right there. Um, as you can see, we didn't do anything with crit whatsoever. I just didn't feel it was worth it. The interesting thing that I did with this is I actually toss on a third element so that we could go ahead and get radiation, um, which I find sometimes can help clump enemies together. Uh, and provides a little bit of CC, which I like, but also, you know, it'll, it'll, maybe, maybe those enemies will proc other, other status effects on each other, and you can take advantage of that. The one thing that I do have to point out here is the inclusion of Whirlwind, um, and Buzzkill. Now, Whirlwind, of course, gives, makes it fly a little bit faster, and may, will make it fly a little bit further, too, so keep that in mind. Um, Buzzkill is kind of leaning this a little bit more towards Slash, because I'm I'm hoping for the slash proc. That's like the dream. That's what I would like it to be. <laughs> so, you know, this is kind of like the setup that I'm really, really enjoying using. And one of the things that I did take off, uh, many of you guys know that previously in the past I used power throw. However, because of the fact that I'm playing a lot of arbitrations, which will from now on be known as Arby's because that's where the meat is, um, I don't want to kill myself. And I find, as many of you guys know, if you give me an explosive weapon, no matter what, I will find a way to kill myself. So I've taken it off, and this is just my own preference with that. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, how this ooh, how this melees. Um, and I'm going to show you the really, really sad melee build that I put on it. I mean, it's as good as it's going to get. <laughs> Um, as you can see, it's it's got a good chunk of status. We've got a uh, drifting contact on it. It's just really not. It's I just it, I'm just not happy with it as a melee weapon. Um, and then we'll go ahead and show off how this works on Navar. Just just so that you can see it real quick in action. In case I don't know, maybe you you want to do that. Now do keep in mind that we are using this against level uh, 155s. Um, so it's gonna be a bit rough um, As you can see throwing it is probably the better idea <laughs> um, But oh and and the comp and the combo the combo with this too the combo with this um, What do you call this will knock enemies around it's really the combo for it is nice because it provides you a little bit of CC Then you can get back into your throws uh, But honest to goodness, it's really I wouldn't use it as a melee, like a traditional melee weapon. I would use it as a throwing melee weapon. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works um, with Avara, because I know that you guys really like your navigators. I I was I was checking, I was checking for it, and I was like, okay. As much as I don't really care to do it, like this is not like what I would do. But you know what? Sometimes sometimes you gotta you gotta show some love. So. Let's get a, a power throw going, um, and this, and number one thing to note about this is this is power throw, uh, so you don't get the navigation on it, um, you just get the punch through, but as you can see, the damage on it is really, really sickening, you just have to kind of like, go around in a circle, if that's, if that's what you wish. Did I kill him? Did I kill them all? Did I get them all? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. All right, now let me go ahead and show you how that works with um, the tracking on this thing, because the tracking is sick. So again, you just wanna, you just wanna tap it. Where, where, where am I going? Where, where did it go? Where are they? Where are all of them? There they are. So just watch how this like really, literally just points you back. It literally just, it's just auto, it's auto target. Like, it's absolutely auto target, and it's, it's kind of nuts. So if you guys. You know, if you guys like, if you guys like that, then that that's how you do it with that. 
So uh, enjoy for all of you of our mains out there who absolutely love it. I, I do have to admit it's kind of fun. It is definitely kind of fun. However, it's not necessarily uh, my my kind of deal. Um, but as you and I think that there's a ah, there you go. Yeah, this is this is this is pretty sickening. This is pretty sickening, and I believe with Prowl you can use your headshot uh, multiplier too that goes along with it. Um, but I'm being lazy. You know what? Somebody's gonna say something. Some it, it's the internet. Somebody's gonna say something. So let's just go ahead and spawn them. Let's just go ahead and spawn them and just just do it real quick and then we'll call it a day here I think you guys get the point um, me personally very very excited about this um, I am I am quite I'm quite loving it to be honest with you um, Even though it's not gonna replace my glaive prime if I'm just you know if I'm gonna be completely frank It's not something that you know is gonna cause me to drop that I do have to say that I think number one I think it's gorgeous um, I think it's absolutely gorgeous, and number two, uh, I think that it's a great kind of like replacement, um, not replacement, kind of like, you know, stand-in, stand-in for the Glaive Prime. The sounds on it are fantastic, uh, the visuals on it are absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, that about does it for the Falcor. Definitely go ahead and pick it up today. This one I give a big thumbs up to. Um, I, like I said, I went ahead and I played with the Orvius a little bit to just kind of see, like, how the two stack up, and I much prefer this, um, than the Orvius, so, that's an opinion! <laughs> it's really, really late, I'm sorry, you guys, I'm gonna head on out now, but, um, as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye